Hello, today I would like to do a quick demo explaining the cache issue in SSIS. In this report, the data source is Adventure and the data set is a store procedure RP Internet Sales by product. I'm running this report. Here we can see the product name, which is from the store procedure here. From the product table. If I run this store procedure, it retains the product name information. Now what I'm going to do is actually change the product information. Instead of using product name, I'm going to use product description for this field. Running the store procedure again, now the product name being changed and I'm expecting to see this change will uh, reflect on the report. Get back to the report and then run it again. We don't see the change appearing on the report. So what is the issue? The problem is to do with the report data cache. In the solution folder, we can see apart from the RDL file, there are a few data files. This is the SSRS data caching. We need to delete this file so we can actually get the right answer on the report. So here I'm going to manually delete the data file, come into SSRS again, review it. Now we can see the product showing the same as the store procedure. SSR caching can be quite annoying, especially when we're doing the development and sometimes we thought you know, we have made a change, but in actual fact, due to the caching, we didn't educate what we need. To resolve this issue, what we could do is create a shortcut to the external tools. So what we could do is actually get to external tool Add the command line and then add argument like this. So if we at the moment if we look if we look at the folder, we can see there there are quite a few data files. Here we can just run this clear report cache. It fires the DOS command and then all the data files will be clear straight away. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.